Welcome to another episode of Community Chat. My name is Kevin Tachi, and I'll be your host for this segment. Uh, the idea of this show is uh, to give you an opportunity, the residents of Abington, to uh, get an understanding of certain things that are going on in and around the community, whether it's an upcoming event, uh, issues that are happening in and around the community, or even elections, whether they're local elections or on the state level, or county. And joining us today is a gentleman who is the uh, chairman of the Abington Board of Selectmen. He is a candidate for Plymouth County Commissioner. We have Alex Bazanson joining us. Alex, welcome to the show. Thank you, Kevin. So, right out of the gate, I know I kind of gave your title. If folks who don't know who you are, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I am in my second term as a selectman, and I'm currently the chairman of the Abington Board of Selectmen. I also served as a water commissioner, and uh, 23 years on the Conservation Commission, uh, 15 of those years as chairman. So I know uh, municipal government. Um, I also served as the uh, Abington designee for the Plymouth County Advisory Board, in which I served as the vice chairman of that board. So I know county government. And uh, so that's why I decided to run for Plymouth County Commissioner. Well, I'm sure everybody at home is wondering, what does a county commissioner do? What do they do? Well, I think that's probably the most asked question as I've been going around to all 27 communities. People ask, what is a county commissioner? And I try to explain it that a county commissioner is like your selectman but on a county level. So basically everything your selectmen do, um, you know, they approve the budget that goes before town meeting. County commissioners approve the budget that goes before the advisory board. Um, they handle the, the buildings owned by, and the property owned by the county, uh, the courthouses. Um, the registry of deeds is part of their budget in the, those buildings. Um, and they have land and that they have solar on some of them and you know it's, it's like a big city a, a big town basically and it's unique in New England I think that you know we have the selectmen and um, open town meeting um, for a lot of these towns and uh, you know when I, I explain to um, friends in Canada or other places, and I try to tell them what a selectman does, and they don't even know what the word selectman means. But in Plymouth County, uh, most towns have selectmen, or select boards now, and uh, the county commission is a pretty much the same, but on a county basis. So why are you running for this seat? What is, it, what is the appeal to this particular uh, position? Well, as anyone that knows me as a conservation commissioner, water commissioner, or as a selectman, I'm not one to just go to meetings and approve vouchers and sign documents. I try to get things done. If a project is presented to me, I try to find a way to get that project done. When, my, when I was first elected to the Board of Selectmen in 2015, somebody approached me and another selectman about a dog park. So we worked on that with them and uh, we were able to get grants and build a dog park. Someone else approached me about um, substance abuse. So my wife and I started the Abington Substance Awareness Coalition, which is now Abington Copes. Um, I, I need to get things done, and I see a need in Plymouth County that the county can be much more user-friendly for the towns and the city of Brockton, and can play a bigger role in um, more joint ventures, I guess you'd say, with the towns. And, um, you know, COVID had taught us that we need to regionalize certain things. And I think that's where the county can come in and can really help with some of those issues. What do you feel you bring to the commissioners if you are elected? What, what, skill set, what set of skill sets do you have or ideas that you have do you feel that's going to be of value to this uh, committee? Well, I think with my 30 plus years of municipal 
and county government experience, I'm going to bring transparency to that board. Um, one of the problems I have, a, a big problem that I have with the county commissioners currently is transparency. They might meet on a Tuesday at 9 o'clock in the morning or a Wednesday at 3 o'clock in the afternoon or a Thursday at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Nothing is consistent. The meetings are not taped. And if you want to attend their meetings, you need to go to their website. Keep going to their website until you see a posting that the meeting is posted. And then hope that they actually hold it at that time because there's been times when it's been posted and then they don't. So I think with my experience as a chairman of several boards, I know how to run a meeting. I know the open meeting laws and transparency. And that's what we've tried to do here in Abington over the last several years. And that's what I'll bring to the County Commission. It seems to be the main issue regarding um, the commission is the county woodlot and a, a potential racetrack. Where do you stand on an issue like this? Well, that is a huge issue, especially for the people of Plymouth. And I come out from day one against the horse track and casino for several reasons. First of all, being vice chairman of the advisory board, I heard about that from WATD. I was not even notified by the commissioners or the current chairman, chairwoman. And that's wrong, first of all. We should not be hearing things, and I tell Scott and all the other selectmen, we should not be hearing things out on the street. We should know before it gets out on the street. Um, when they tried to hold their public hearing, the chairwoman didn't like the way the meeting was going, so she basically ended the meeting. The town people in Plymouth voted overwhelmingly in a non-binding referendum that they don't want the horse track or a casino there. And my job as county commissioner is to represent the people. Not so much what I want, but represent the people and what they want. They don't want it, I'm against it, and I will never endorse a horse track or a casino on that land. Will there be something built there? Possibly. but. I will never endorse a horse track or a casino. Would you say that's probably the, the, the biggest issue? Or are there other issues that are part of, whether it's with the, the commissioners or the, the race for this seat? I think the, uh, that's probably the biggest issue. And I think transparency is another big issue. I mean, I've heard from a lot of people that, you know, they don't know when they meet. They want to go to the meetings. I heard a reporter from WATD tell me that she's tried several times to get in there to record their meetings and they'll bring it up at the next meeting and they don't. I printed out the minutes from the last year from those meetings, from the county commissioner's meetings, and they will have someone or something before the board at uh, one meeting and they said, we'll take that up at the next meeting and it's never brought up again. And that's wrong. They need to be accountable to the people of Plymouth County, and especially the town of Plymouth. Do you feel that the county does enough for the communities that it serves, the membership? No, I don't, and that's another reason I'm running. I think there's so much more that the county could do. My plan when I'm elected is I will meet with every town manager, every town administrator, and the mayor of Brockton to find out what their specific needs are. and try and find a way that the county can help with those things. Could we do regional transfer stations uh, for recycling or um, leaves and brush and things like that? Could we help with uh, the water problems plaguing all the towns? Is it possible maybe another desalination plant somewhere along the coast? You know, I mean, it, it's a lot of money and, it, and uh, um, it would take a lot to do something like that, but there might be money available, especially with the PFAS situation. The federal government or the state government's gonna have to help us with the, this somewhere along the line. So, you know, I think water issue is one thing and uh, services that some of the towns could combine and the county could be the broker, per se. Okay. Uh, what changes would you make 
if any, if you're elected on November 8th uh, to be the next county commissioner? My first meeting in January, I will propose that we pick a set night every month, whether it's the second Tuesday or a third Wednesday, whatever it is, uh, or, or two, because I think they probably should be meeting twice a month if we're going to start actually doing things. And we will, that will be my first proposal on my first meeting, to set a specific night every month at a specific time so that people know when they're meeting. The Board of Selectmen meet in Abington the second Monday and the fourth Monday of every month at 6.30. People know that. Conservation meets, I believe, the second Tuesday. You know, planning board meets the first Monday. Board of Health has set yeah, dates. Set dates right. Everyone has set date except the Plymouth County Commissioners. And that will be my first uh, thing I do when I'm a commissioner. Anything in closing, anything we haven't mentioned that gives you an opportunity to, it's something we haven't touched upon, <laughs> but you'd like to at least uh, take a moment to talk about? Well, I think that, um, and it, nothing personal against my opponent, but she's been in for 12 years. She's going for her fourth term, I believe, which would make it 16 years. And she really doesn't have a record of much accomplishments. And I don't like any person that sits on any board just for the sake of keeping the seat warm. People that know me know that I get things done. I have a record of accomplishments, and that's what I'm going to bring to Plymouth County Commission. If folks want to find out more about your campaign, they want to get involved, how can they do that? Sure. Uh, they can find me on Facebook at Alex Bazanson, Plymouth County Commissioner. Uh, my website is alexbazanson.org, and my phone number is 781-953-1236. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Kevin. You got it. And we want to thank you at home for tuning into programs like this. We hope that we keep you informed of things that are happening, or at least have good topical conversations for you to sit back and, and understand uh, an issue, item, or a, a community event uh, a little bit better. Uh, if you have ideas for uh, segments, info at abingtoncam.tv. Until next time, have yourself a great day.